I didn't sleep with him. I like you haven't been there, lady. He's coming over after the show tonight, and I'm going to not sleep with him again. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I keep abandoning you, don't I? It's okay. Then, do you mind if we skip dinner? Because I really hate to eat before anything, and it's kind of the only chance I have to get waxed and polished. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, oh, great. I'm fine. Okay. All right, I will see you in a bit then. No, wait. I'm not fine. I just... I need one of our old-fashioned Audrey specials. Like we used to have, you know? What's the matter? I mean, nothing. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I just... Um... And you know what? Never mind. I just feel like I can't talk to you anymore. Well, wait a second. You disappeared for like four years. You hardly ever write me back, and when you do, it's just a quick note because I've got class in three minutes. The obvious subtext being, you're in college and I'm in significant. You don't even put me on a B list for your wedding, and suddenly I'm convenient for you, and you think you can just plop yourself right back into my life and expect everything to be like old times. That is not fair. Not a couch. That's gotta hurt. <clears throat> it's a good hurt. You were right, I had no right to expect anything from you. Of course you did. Look, I let our friendship slide because when I went to Brown and you came here to New York, it just seemed like we had less and less to talk about. Oh, you got kind of pretentious. And you got kind of defensive. He looked down at everything I did. Audrey, are you kidding? I was intimidated by you. I mean, here I was up at school. The biggest decisions I had to make were whether or not I should join the glee club or like which meal plan I should choose. And you were here making it on your own. I was in awe of you. Well, you shouldn't have been. Because for most of the past four years, I've been waiting outside theaters at cattle calls. It's been tough. Yeah, but you were doing it. I mean, in real life, you are doing it. Yeah. And how so are you? <laughs> if this world were mine, I draw a map, circle the word. One word, and I'm walking into your bedroom while you're sleeping and cutting off all your hair. What? You're not. You're not bad. I'm not good either. Do you want to go to a karaoke bar tomorrow night? We can practice. By the time we get home, you sound like Sarah McLachlan. How about if you try that kind of singing where you just kind of talk? I told Travis that I was trained in musical theater and that I was an alto. Is that the high or the low? I forget. So you embellished. I lied. I can't do this. Yes, you can. You can do anything. What's wrong? Just working with Elisa after Jill told her everything that happened between us. Uh-huh. And what exactly did happen? Nothing. Well, you're in denial about all that stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> I am not in denial. <laughs> See, that's the tricky thing about denial. Nobody ever knows when they're in it. Just be where we are. What happened? 
Uh, she missed her cue. No, I did not. He didn't play it right. Fine. Let's just take from the top of Audrey's vocal, all right? Again. stay for the whole song this time, right? From the top, people! And five, six, seven, eight. Are you planning on whooping every time you finish your verse? Maybe. You didn't have to come. I wanted to. You're a really good friend. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's not that. It's just that you're much cuter than my cadaver. <laughs> Good job, Art. Mm. One more time for the top, and I'll take you out to celebrate. Come on. I'll see you later. Yeah, you. Mm, that's what it is. And you're gonna lose that before you're ever gonna be able to move on. But you wouldn't do that. You're way too controlled. Hey, no, wait a minute. I am moving on. And I am not too controlled. You're not controlled. Not at all. Nice. Hey, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. I want you. Both. What? Yeah, you heard me. I want your hairy, sweaty flesh pressed against me. I want to feel the full weight of your bulging beer bellies right here, right now. Uh, I'm married. Yeah, me too. Well, I felt kind of good. Yeah, well, imagine how a fling would feel. <laughs> <laughs> 